this will be our first semi driving video in the in the van go my transit connect cargo van that i'm converting into a little camper and uh, here we go guys all right yeah there's a lot of things i like about the vehicle other than the fact that i can use it as a camper it, it's simple you know you can leave the doors open there's no dinging noise you know i had all the doors open and i was listening to serious satellite radio while i was putting stuff around fooling around in the car and uh this thing also has what they call rear park aid whatever that means sounds good and uh but anyway, here we go we're just going to take a short ride uh, what the reason i want to take this ride is twofold i want to hear uh the video see if there's any sound see this is the reason i can't use the mirror mount uh uh camera holder because it just looking right at that thing so i'll have to get something that i'll put over here i've already got one on order but anyway this is rusty and we're in our 2023 ford transit connect xlt with 41 miles on it now and another thing i wanted to do i, you know, I want to check the sound on the video plus I want to hear if there's any rattles from the stuff I've put in here thus far because what I want to end up with is when I get everything in here and squared away I want to be able to drive down the highway without hearing tink 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 or clank 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 you know what I mean and so that's what we're, we're working on right now it's nice man you know got a big window there and uh, yeah we're, we're good yeah, and as far as uh, the heat load on the interior, of course, with all the doors open, that reduces that a lot. And two, tinting the windows with a dark tint, which I've done, uh, except for the front windshield, uh, that helps a lot too. Particularly here in Alamogordo, New Mexico, where right now it shows to be, well, on my dash thing, it says 91, which it could be true because it feels very, very warm. And... Uh, yeah, this thing even has a compass. Well, you might be able, not be able to see that too well on the screen, but it has a, a compass, so you, you know what direction you're going. Do I need that? Sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, sometimes I don't have a clue. I'm going to go right, I guess, because it, it's a little rougher road this way, and we'll see what we've got. This thing is plenty peppy, and, uh, you know, so, yeah, we're, we're fine with all of the mechanics of the vehicle uh as far as comfort riding uh you can put this seat in just about any position you want to and the uh, uh steering wheel tilts and all that stuff so yeah we're, we're good with all of this on the vehicle itself and right now i don't hear any rattles i've only got a few things in the vehicle right now but still uh, i want to check as i go along because uh I want it not. I, I don't want it so, so cluttered that I can't even move. You know what I mean? I watch. I have watched a lot of van dweller videos. You know, people that are living in the van. But sometimes it's a couple with a dog, and I can understand that. But if it's one person, now, but of course, if you're living on the road full time and that's everything you own, then yeah, okay, I got you. But as far as uh, you know, me. Uh, I'm not living in it. It's not my only home, and I'm going to go to places that have water and electric, hopefully, and that way I don't have to carry a lot of, you know, cooking stuff, you know, like propane and solar and all that stuff. So yeah, the the blinker is is not as loud as the Class B uh, motorhome, but it's not as quiet as the Corolla. So we're somewhere in between those two. That's the Sacramento Mountains, and look at that blue sky. The humidity right now is probably 10% or less. Yeah, this is a Tuesday, actually, Tuesday afternoon, about 3.46 p.m., getting close to beer 30, and I thought, well, hell, you know, let's go check this thing out, you know, it's what you bought it for. And, you know, I, I do have to say this. It, there's, a, again, a lot of things that I like in that it's simple. Uh, I even had a this thing has a key you put in the ignition a regular key not when you know it's one of those funny looking stick things and uh you know that's on both sides 
but I had one made today, just the key, so you can so you can unlock the door. You know, and what I'll do is I'll get me a hide a key and hide a key uh, with that thing, so at least I can get inside the vehicle, and hopefully I have just locked my keys in the car. You know, and it, do, can that happen with this thing? Uh, probably be a little more difficult because it's not quite as smart as some of these other ones I have, or cars I've had. And uh, but isn't this a nice drive? And we'll just kind of make a loop around and go back to my place because I can already feel the, the, the DTs coming on because it's getting close to beer 30 and I have to satisfy my urge. So, yeah. But, yeah, the radio works great. Good sound, simple radio. You know, you actually dial it like a... It's just got two buttons. You know, it's got a little uh, screen, you know, uh, that you can tap and do some stuff. The air conditioner is manual, you know, you have to uh, uh, set it, and uh, yeah, do I like that? Hell yeah, man, I, I don't want an air conditioner smarter than I am, which wouldn't be much, but uh, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go right on scenic, and uh, yeah, we're right on a hill, which is nice, and uh, yeah, this is just a loop around, I live right to the right there, down in the valley, so to speak. So guys, we're making progress. I think it's going to, the, the holdup will be two things. One is the uh, mattress. I uh, haven't got it yet. It won't be until the first week of May. That's what it says, unless they change the shipping date. And then the other is I need to do some insulation, uh, either with that bubble stuff, you know what I mean? Or I've got the 3M stuff, that thin slate. I got 10 feet of it. It's uh, five feet wide, 10 feet long roll. And I got the glue, and I'm going to watch some videos, so I think I can do that pretty easy. It may not look perfect, but it's good enough for old dad here. And we're cruising along at uh, about 40 miles. Whoops, you better slow down. 40? Are you kidding me? I mean, yo, warp three. So this is the first ride in our 2023 Ford Transit Connect XLT camper van that I'm making making into a, uh, making into a count, camper van and the name that people seem to like the best was Van Gogh even though I rarely name anything people thought that it was that, tra that Matilda was a trashy name because of uh, the trash can Matilda beautiful drive isn't it it's still showing 90 degrees I thought maybe that was because we weren't moving but yeah, it's pretty warm today. But, you know, uh, I've got air conditioning in the vehicle. You know, they have this feature on this car that you can, that, that I turned off. But whenever you come up to a stop sign, it the, the engine cuts off, okay, until you mash the accelerator. What I was thinking was, huh, why don't I just put that on and when I'm camping, uh, let the air conditioner run because it's electric air conditioner. You know, and see when it, see when the engine cuts on, kind of use it like a Prius. But I don't think that'll work because this thing just has one 80 amp hour battery. Gasoline here at Walmart here, the neighborhood store, is two dollars and sixty one cents a gallon today, which is down about seventy cents a gallon in three weeks. Yeah, you know, the war in the Middle East that they thought was going to be a brush fire turned out to be a nothing, which is fine with me. I think it's silly anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, our first drive is coming to an end. Thumbs up, car pay diem. That's where I get my water right there. High desert water, great. If you're ever in this area and you need bottled water, go right here. High desert water. It's on uh, this is Indian Wells Drive or something. So anyway, thumbs up, car pay diem. Use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. And enjoy your life the best way you can. Don't let peer pressure change your direction unless you feel like it's uh, good information. So anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.